Dr. Carol Lieberman is a psychiatrist and a frequent expert witness uh, in sexual harassment cases, and she joins us tonight. Uh, doctor, thanks all for coming on. Thank you. So we're, we're, things are moving really quickly in our attitudes collectively about sexual harassment, sexual assault. Um, what's the downside to this potentially? <laughs> oh, everything is really out of control. This has become such a bandwagon. Now certainly there are a lot of women who have been sexually harassed, yeah. have been sexually abused. Uh, you know, a lot of these things are, are valid. But I think the problem is that there are some women who have joined this bandwagon who have not been sexually harassed or abused, but who are angry at men for their own personal reasons and have extended this way beyond what the original concept was. I mean, we're now going into the American values of free speech and presumed innocent. You can't have that anymore. People are being tried in the media because of these allegations. I mean, now you're not even supposed to say allegation. I mean, that is absurd. Absurd. And I mean, so Matt Damon, you know, here um, he's a, a because he was connected in some way to Harvey Weinstein because he didn't speak out against him. Uh, now people are going after him because he's a friend or right. a coworker. I mean, where does this end? It's it's like 1984, and it's eroding our trust. Uh, men and women, you know, for women to have power, it's not to be like men uh, or to make men uh, feminized. You know, to make them to take away their power to castrate them. I mean, that's essentially what's happening um, it, it's it's better to be able to work together in an environment share both of the the things that each one has that can sh that can add to the other it's not about I mean yes certainly women deserve the, there's been pay discrepancies and all these kinds of things these are true but to go about it in this mass hysteria kind of way and to take away things that we really need to rely on as I said like presumed innocent right. and free speech it's just going way beyond what well, this terrifying. calls for. But you, I also suspect in ways I can't completely articulate that some of the victims in this are going to be women down the line. Yes. Um, you know, this is not... <laughs> people are not looking, women are not looking at this for the long term. Right. Uh, there is going to be uh, effects, you know, women are getting, going to be hired less because men are going to be afraid uh, that they're going to accuse them of sexual harassment. Um, really, what is even more powerful is if we're not allowed to hug or flirt or I mean the the relationship the love relationship and I'm not saying that uh, a harasser and a uh, a victim you know that it's that's a love relationship but you right. know a love has actually been under fire now for a while. I mean, there's no dating anymore. People are going to websites, internet, and so on. No flirting. I mean, we're really losing a lot of what is good or was good it between sure the seems relationship. That way. In the re and we're not pausing to think and of the consequences, unfortunately. Dr. Lieberman, thank exactly. you. I appreciate your insight. Thanks. Thank you.